All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and this hour is a, uh, a grammar hour. We are going to be discussing the first part of a two-part series uh, about uh, pronouns. Okay. The uh, the link to uh, to the class is right here. Let me uh, go ahead and give that to you. Okay, it's in the Verbling chat right now. All right, as well as uh, if you uh, decide to come into class and hang out in the uh, in the Google chat, uh, the uh, the link for you is there as well. Okay, now if you are if you are new to uh, to Verbling, you may be wondering what's going on. Well, the first two minutes of every class is reserved for those who have premium accounts, okay, as well as for those who have reservations. Okay, so after the first two minutes is up, then it uh, it's open to uh, uh, the others to uh, join into the class. All right. So first off, if you do not know who I am, my name is Teacher Chad, and I am from the United States. Okay, but I currently live in Costa Rica. I've been living in Costa Rica now for about nine months, and uh, I really enjoy it. I uh, I speak two languages. Okay, uh, English and Spanish. Okay, my uh, my teacher Facebook page here with Verbling is uh, right here. I'll go ahead and give that to you as well. And uh, this hour, uh, we are going to be talking about grammar, uh, principally pronouns. All right. Now, a lot of times we get our pronouns mixed up between he, she, it, them, they. Okay, we. Okay, uh, we don't uh, we don't know which ones to use all of the time. Okay, so this uh, this class uh, in this class we'll start to uh, to to uh, talk about and practice when we use the the uh, different words. Okay, and why we use them. Okay, so we'll learn about that. Then we'll also go in and uh, and do some practices. Okay, all right. So let's see who we have in class so far. Hi, Chu. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, welcome back to class. How's windy. how's the weather in Canada these days? Uh, windy. Because windy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Windy. Nice. Well, welcome, welcome back. Good to see you again. All right. How about uh, Andres? How are you? I'm tired, but fine. All right, and. Andres, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia? All right. Very good. And why why are you so tired today? Uh, because I, I just arrived from my university. I started at 9, so wow. I just arrived. Wow. And, yeah. yeah, what is it, uh, about 12 or, or is it 1, 1 a.m. or 12, 12 a.m.? It is 11. Oh, 11. Okay, so you're only an hour ahead of me. Okay. Well, uh, good. <laughs> welcome uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, how about Samir? Thanks. How are you? Yes, it's your heart. I'm doing great. Uh, welcome back to class. It's good to see you again. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started, everybody. The, uh, the link is uh, in the chat box. Okay, uh, I put my Facebook link in there as well, just uh, just in case you guys wanted to uh, follow me there. Okay, uh, the link again is uh, in the chat box. Go ahead and open that up. When you do, this is what you'll see. Okay, and I do suggest uh, opening this on your own computer. Okay, we'll start off with the uh, table of contents. And uh, we'll scroll down through uh, through page one and go to page number two. Now, Aichu, uh, let me have you read the quick and handy grammar review. Okay. Pro pronouns. Oops. Uh, pronouns are short words that stand in four nouns. Pronouns refer to nouns that have already been mentioned. They have many uses. The following is a list of types of pronouns. Sub subject, 
components, object components, relative components, possessive components, reflexive components, demonstrative components, and definite components. Should I continue? Uh, yes, in that last sentence, please. We will analyze the first three types in this unit and the last four in the next one. Great. So, class, this is the uh, this is the first uh, section. Okay. Uh, this is pronouns one. Okay, and we will go over uh, subject pronouns, object pronouns, and relative pronouns. Now, if you're wondering what a pronoun is, a pronoun refers to nouns that have already been mentioned. Okay, that is key. We cannot use a pronoun when we have not already mentioned what the noun is because it refers back to it. Okay, pronouns are words such as he, she, it, you, them, all right, they, things like that. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll discuss subject pronouns. Uh, let's go to Oksana. Oksana, let me have you uh, you read uh, read through this chart here, and then uh, and then also uh, read uh, read through the first uh, the first four examples or first four notes. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, is this uh, Oksana or is this Anastasia? No, I Anastasia because my mom has a call and I can okay. Judge. Okay, with, with notes. I is only a pronoun that is always capitalized. The other pronouns are capitalized only when they are the first word in the sentences. When I is combined with another subject, I go second example. Maria and I are good friends. Uh, also, it is sometimes used in spoken English slang. Me is incorrect as a subject form. For example, Hank and me went to the game is a mistake. In English, there is no second person plural form. You is used for both singular and plural. Unlike many other languages, there is no distinction in address in English. That is, there, there are no familiar and formal forms for the word you. You is used when speaking to an animal or the present of a company for one person or 20 people. They distinguish between masculine, feminine and neutral forms. He, she and it uh, in the present is lost in the plural. Uh, the word they works for the subject. For animals use it unless you know and love the animal then use he or she. Okay, good. Just tell right there. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have a question, Chad. Sure, uh, what's that? Can you say, like, uh, y'all? You know, have you ever heard? Y'all? Texas, yeah, Texas people say, like, y'all uh, for people uh, a lot, you know? Uh, yeah, uh, of I, you. I use y'all uh, uh, quite a bit as well um, when I'm talking with, uh, with friends and things like that. Uh, you can use y'all and uh, that would mean that, I mean, you're talking to a, a, a larger group of people. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's when you would use y'all. Okay, so because yeah. it means mm -hmm. it means you all. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you can mm -hmm. say y'all want to go with me. Uh huh. Okay, or how y'all doing? So how are all of you doing? How y'all doing? Do? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so okay. yes, uh, you can you can use that, but that is more of a of a dialect form. Mm hmm. Okay, it uh, doesn't have a specific conjugation or belong in any. Uh, specific conjugation either okay mm -hmm. uh, all, all it is it's just a, a form uh, of speaking okay uh, okay mm -hmm. gotcha. all right very Thanks. cool thank you uh, let's uh, let's continue uh, let's go to uh, uh, Abdil how are you Abdil hey Chad I'm fine how are you great I'm doing great thank you uh, let me have you read the uh, the examples here in uh, of, uh, of subject pronouns. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to find the document. All right, let me put it in the uh, chat box for you one more time. Okay. Okay, go ahead and open that up. I'll uh, I'll come back to you. Let me go to uh, Aichu. Uh, Aichu, are you there?
Okay, how about uh, Andres? Yeah. And Andres, okay, great. Uh, let me have you read uh, the examples of subject pronouns. Go ahead and read that, please. Okay, example of subject pronouns. I am from Korea. Ken and I are good buddies. Buddies. You are very nice. He is a pharma a pharmacy pharmacist. That would be she's, pharmacist. She's he is a pharmacist. Good. Okay, keep reading, she's please. A, she she is the director of the company. It is very difficult to swim across the lake. We are very happy to be there to be her. You are all invited to my house. They are never late. Okay, good. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, one of the uh, um, the important things to remember, class. Okay, is when uh, we're we are saying Ken and I. All right, we would not say Ken and me. Or uh, uh, me and Ken, okay? Or I and Ken. It would be Ken and I. So uh, our friend's name and then I. You could also use that with uh, with they. They and I, okay? Uh, things like that. So Ken, Ken, uh, uh, Ken, David and I. All right, are good buddies. All right, uh, that it, that would be the form that we use. Also, another uh, important thing to uh, mention would be for animals. Okay, uh, we only uh, use he or she when we know okay, and love the animal. If not, we uh, we call the animal by it. Okay, the dog. I saw I saw the dog uh, crossing the street. It almost got hit by a car. Okay, it almost got hit by a car. All right, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and roll on. Um, I want to go back here first. Okay, first person singular, I. Second person singular, you. Third person singular, he, she, and it. Okay, uh, first person plural, we. Second person plural, you. Third person plural, they. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about object pronouns. And this is for, let's go to uh, Edinson. Edinson, make sure that your microphone is not muted. Okay, uh, how about uh, Emma? Yeah, how, how are you? I'm I doing heard good. You. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so Edinson, can you hear me now? Uh, yes, teacher, I heard you. Okay, good. Let me uh, let me have you uh, read about object pronouns, please. Uh, go ahead and and read through this uh, this chart. Okay, then uh, then read through the notes, please. Okay, uh, notes. Objects pronouns by sir as the object of a verb or the object of a preposition. All objects pronouns are in lower case unless they are the first word in a sentence. As with subject pronouns, there is no distinction between familiar and formal forms of you. As with subject pronouns, there is no distinction between this person masculine, feminine, and neuter forms in the plural. Then is the only two person plural pronouns used. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to uh, Emma. And uh, Emma, let me have you use the examples of, of pronouns as objects of a verb. Uh, please read through these examples. Uh, make sure that your microphone is not muted, Emma. Sorry. There you go. Marcia called me at 3 o'clock or 3 a.m. Laura mentioned you, you yesterday. 
The professor asked him a, a question. The manager gave her a promotion. Samantha read it last night. Sandra invited us to dine to dinner. The airline gave them free tickets. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, let me go to um, uh, Giannini. Oh, Giannini or Giannini? Giannini, can you hear me okay? Giannini Lopez Lima. All right. Let's go to Juan Pablo. Let me have you read the uh, examples here. Okay, uh, examples of pronouns as objects of preposition of a preposition. Uh, please you read all of these examples here. Yes. Um, Asha, Asha gave the book to me. Between you and me, I think that he is the world player on the team. Barbara will ride with you with you to Ottawa. Nancy received an email from his last week. Sam he and Nam spoke about her this morning. You had better get get to it. Don't delay. Henry came with us to the party. Kenneth ran after them. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Now, class. Uh, remember up uh, up top here when we were talking about Ken and I. All right, and how we could not say Ken and me. Okay, well, when this changes to the object of a preposition, all right, notice here we have between you and me. Between is the preposition, and this is the object, you and me. Okay, so that would be the only time when we could say that. All right, so um, let's see. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. And we'll go to uh, Samir. Let me have you uh, uh, continue reading. And I'll have you read uh, this uh, chart, please. I will. Who use only for people that use for people and things that cannot follow a, co a comma, which uh, use only for things when the relative a pronoun follow, follows a, ca, a comma only which and not that may be used uh, whom used for people as the object of a verb or preposition in an adjective clause whom is used in very formal English more often in writing than in speaking whose used as a possessive always followed by a noun. Okay, excellent job. Now class, um, let's talk about the word whom. Okay, notice here that it says that it's used in uh, in formal speaking. Okay, um, I can tell you this uh, as a fact. I've only known two people in my whole entire life that actually use the word whom when they speak. All right. Most people do not use the word whom. Okay. The first person was an English teacher I had in school, and the next person was an English professor. Okay. All normal people do not use the word whom. Okay. And apparently, um, Ed Edinson's uh, husband eats tomatoes. So, Edinson, let me have you uh, uh, mute your mic, please. There you go, buddy. Okay. So. So okay. whom is is not a uh, is not a word that we use often. Okay, uh, we usually uh, use who. Okay, who, who is a, who is a word that we use more often than not. Okay, so uh, with the word whom, ah, I, I would say uh, forget about it. It's not uh, it's not uh, extremely important. Other teachers may say, yes, you need to learn how to use that word. Okay. But you will never hear anybody on TV use it. You'll never hear anybody uh, at work use it unless you work in the English department. All right. Uh, so it's it's not a very uh, a very commonly used word. 
Okay, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, our examples here. Let's go to uh, Abdil. Uh, Abdil, have you uh, caught up? Do you know where we are at so far? Yeah, relative pronouns or the class? Uh, yes, on uh, relative pronouns. Let me have you read all of the examples under uh, under here where it says examples of relative pronouns. Go ahead and read those. Sure. The man who stole my bag was my husband. Eating a tomato. Okay, give me one second. Edinson. Okay, teacher. I Edinson. heard it. Okay, yes. Edinson, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia, okay. Edinson, lo que pasa es que usted está... Um, usted está, está haciendo algo, está haciendo un ruido ahí en, en su lado. Lo que estamos escuchando es que otra persona está hablando en inglés, ¿ok? Hay que apagarlo o poner su micrófono en silencio para que no lo podamos escuchar. Ok, teacher. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. All right, Abdil, please continue. Sure. The man who stole my bag was very tall and thin. The book that I read yesterday was written in Russian. Gary comes from Moscow, which is very cold in the winter. The woman whom I told you about is my English professor. The house in which Sheila grew up is for sale. The man to whom I gave my book is absent today. The man whose car was stolen had to take the bus home. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, notice here we have the word whom used uh, two times. Really, we can replace that with who and life will go on. All right, there's no, uh, uh, there's no big secret to it. We can say the woman who I told you about is my English professor. You can also say uh, the man, uh, the man who I gave my book to, is absent today. All right, and that would be just fine. Okay, so uh, because that's the normal way that uh, most people speak. All right, very good. Uh, let's uh, let's scroll down and go to our exercises. Unless there are uh, unless there are some questions. Does anybody have any questions right now before we move on to our uh, exercises? Nope. Okay. Let's uh, let's do it. Um, so, Aichu, let me have you read um, number one, and we are going to be changing the noun. Okay, changing the noun in the sentences to a subject pronoun. Remember, let's go back up here and take a look at subject, subject pronouns. We have I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, they, and they. Okay? Okay. All right, number one, please. John is the floor manager. He is the floor manager. Great. He is the floor manager. Excellent job. Uh, number two is for uh, Anastasia. Uh, okay. Ricardo really likes Mary. Uh, he really likes Good. Mary. Yes, he. He really likes Mary. Thank you. How about number three, Andres? Yeah. Hans' dog is a puddle. Mm. It is a poodle. Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, it is a poodle. A poodle. Good, yeah, because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, all right, nor is it a dog that we know very well. And so uh, we, we would just say it. It is a poodle. Okay? Poodle. Excellent job. Okay. Uh, let's go to Edinson, uh, number four, please. She is a dog trainer. All right, good. She is a dog trainer. Very good. How about number five? This is for uh, Emma. Uh, yeah. They are best friends. Good. Yes, we are best friends. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Giannini. Can you hear me okay? All right, let's go to Juan Pablo, number six, please. Theo and I work at the mall. They work at the mall. Okay, very close. No, now, we, we, I'm sorry, we work at the mall. There you go, yeah. we. Yeah, we work at the mall, awesome job. 
Okay, how about uh, number seven? Uh, number seven is seven is for Samir. This, uh, the book is very long. It's very long. Very good. It's. It's very long. Or it is very long. Excellent. Let's go to uh, Abdil. Uh, number eight, please. Okay. The sandwiches are made of ham. They are made of ham. Very good. Yes, the sandwiches. Okay. Plural. They are made of ham. Very good. Uh, number nine, please. I too. The professor and the student met at three. They met at three. Okay. They met. They met at three. Okay. Good. Um, and number ten, please. Uh, Anastasia. Uh, Adam and I ate lunch together. We, we. ate lunch together. Yeah, we ate lunch together. Together. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. Uh, all right, you guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and scroll down. Chad. Uh, yes. What's up? Uh, why you why you sign me in the position five? Uh, uh, we. I said they, and you oh, sign me. Did I did I say we? <laughs> yes. Yes. It should be they. Did you, okay. you did you say they did you say they Emma? Yes. Okay, I, I apologize. Uh, yes, if I if I corrected you to we, I, I apologize. <laughs> okay, it okay, should okay. be it should be it should be they there because yeah, you have Ben and Gina. The answer other, is other they. person. Other person is talking about other. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 My my fault. My fault. I'm not perfect neither. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, Andres. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to exercise number two. Number two. Okay. Johnson Bob. And uh, we are we are replacing these with object pronouns. Sorry. Yeah. Let's uh, let's do a review real quick. So object pronouns. Let's scroll up. Okay. Object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it. Us, you, and them. Okay? okay. All right. So, uh, exercise two, number yeah, one, hero, please. Teacher. John. Okay. Mm. Yes. Exercise two. Uh, yes. Exercise two, number one. Uh, Johnson Ball him at the kennel. Okay. Uh, now, here you can, because you don't know, you don't know if the dog is a boy or a girl. Okay, uh, you would say uh, it. The dog, it, yeah. Yeah, he bought it at the kennel. Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, let me have you repeat that, please. Okay, so Johnson bought it at the, at, at, it at kennel? Yeah, it at the kennel. It adds the kind of. Good, nice job. Okay, how about number two? Uh, number two is for Edinson. Ricardo really likes her. Okay, Ricardo really likes her. Okay, so instead of saying her, we would say her. Her. There you go, that's it. Nice job, man. Let's go to uh, number three, and this is for uh, Emma. Yeah, I can I can take this situation anymore. I can I can take it anymore. Good. Yes, I can't take it anymore. I can't Excellent. take it. There you go. All right. How about number four? Uh, this is for uh, Giannini. Can you hear me? Okay. All right, buddy. I'm not going to give up on you. You keep coming in. All right, Juan Pablo. Let's go to uh, number four, please. Brooke read it in one night. Okay, Brooke read. This is going to be read. Read. Okay. All right, Brooke read it in one night. Yes, talking about the uh, the long book. Okay. Uh, how about number five? And uh, number five is for Samir. 
and yes, Bob went on, on vacation with Joe. Bob went on vacation, on vacation with him. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so that would be him because of Joe. Okay. And how about uh, number six? Uh, this is for Abdil. I, dr I drank two cups of coffee at the mall. I drank them at the mall. Uh, good, yes, because it's two cups. You drank them at the mall. All right, uh, let's go to uh, Aichu. Number seven, please. Nestor contacted my sister yesterday. Nestor contacted her yesterday. Yeah, and that would be contacted. Contacted. Instead of saying contacted, the accent goes at the very beginning. So contacted her yesterday. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, number eight, and this is for Anastasia. Number eight, please. Mm -hmm. uh, Gina ate two sandwiches at Tom's house. Gina ate, ate this at Tom's house. No? Okay, um, so we're talking about two sandwiches. Okay, this them? is going to be. Uh -huh, yes, Gina ate them at Tom's house. Gina, Gina ate them at Tom's house. Good, yeah, Gina ate them at Tom's house. Okay, good. All right, and uh, was that Oksana? Yes, I, yes, sorry. Oksana's back now? So, so, so. Sorry, because before I'm busy, I talk in telephone and my daughter to speak because I don't want to miss my road. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So, sorry. No, no problem. No problem. I, uh, I, I was a little confused there at first. I was like, wait a minute. That's not Anastasia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Let's go, to, uh, let's go to number nine. And uh, this is for, let's see who we got. Uh, Andres? Yeah. Mm, the professor called it on them. Okay, uh, the professor called on them. Yes, because we have Sun He and Mei Lim. Okay, uh, and our last one here. This is number 10. This is for uh, Edinson. Mr. Samson ate it. Good, Mr. Samson ate it. Okay, good. All right. Uh, questions, class, uh, uh, up till this point. Any questions for me? No question. Nope. Okay. Uh, you guys are doing uh, doing very well here. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Okay. Let's uh, let's go on to uh, quest or to exercises three and four. All right, these are going to be uh, fairly similar. One second. There we go. Okay, so uh, scroll down to uh, uh, to three and uh, to three and four. Now, <clears throat> now we need to uh, decide whether we are going to use a subject or object pronoun. Okay, um, let's uh, let's do uh, two of these each. All right, and uh, next up is uh, Emma. Let me have you do yes. numbers one and two, please. Henry and I are going to the game tomorrow. Okay, Henry and I, yes, A. Okay, how about uh, number two? Mary cannot understand her when Carla speaks French. Okay, good, yeah, B. Mary cannot understand her when uh, when Carla speaks French, okay? Yeah. Um, how about uh, numbers three and four? Uh, this is for Juan Pablo. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What? Three? Uh, Hanvin and I went to the movies. All right, so Hanvin and I went to the movies. Yeah, good. A, okay. Uh, number four. Again? <laughs> Uh, yes, so we're, you're you're doing numbers three and four. So let, okay, you did okay, three, okay. okay, and four. Mary said that I I her and no. Mary said said that she and her brother often eat at the restaurant. 
Okay, so she said that uh, she and her brother often eat at the restaurant. That's correct. Okay, Thank she you. and her brother. Very good. All right, how about uh, numbers five and six? This is for uh, uh, Samir. The rent is too high for them. She's okay. the best. She's the right. best friend I have ever had. Great. Yes. Yeah, so the rent is too high for them. B and she is the best friend I've ever had. Okay. Excellent job. Okay. How about uh, seven and eight? Uh, seven and eight is for uh, Abdil. Okay, uh, Chris and I want to travel to Vietnam together. I don't want to talk to, to talk to him or his brother. Good. I don't want to talk to him or his brother. And uh, Chris and I, excellent job. How about uh, numbers nine and ten? This is for Aichu. Yes, I met Mayli and and it's nice. Okay, I met Maylin and she at the movie theater. There is word missing. Okay. Um. So me. Okay. So number nine is actually a uh, B. I met Maylin and her. Okay. I met Maylin and her at the movie theater. Okay, and what did you say for 10? Uh, I did not hear that all the way. May we, may we come in now? Okay, yeah, good. So may we come in now? Okay, may we. Okay, excellent job. Okay, and uh, let's see, Oksana? If you see your parents tomorrow, give them my best regards. Them. Okay, yes, give them my best regards. Okay, good. Uh, the coach called it Bob and me last night. Me. Okay, the coach the coach called uh, Bob and me. Okay, last night. All right. Um, yes. Now that's uh, that is me because it is the object. The coach called Bob and me last night. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Andres, numbers three and four, please. Okay. We met a friend of ours at the mall yesterday. Okay, uh, we met a friend of ours at the mall yesterday. Yes, so uh, B, we. Okay, great. I can't, I can't find my books. I can use yours, yo. I will give them back tomorrow. Good. I will give them back tomorrow. Fabulous. All right. How about uh, numbers five and six? Uh, this is for Edinson. Yes. They are the best players on the team. Can you take it? Can you take this letter and give it to Luisa? Okay, good. So uh, they are the best players and give it to Luisa. Excellent. All right, uh, number seven and eight. This is for Emma. Paul called three, Chris and me. Oh, you, you move it. Paul called Chris and me because he wants us to travel to Vietnam together. He doesn't want to talk about the terrible, the terrible game anymore. Okay, yeah, so uh, Paul called Chris and me. All right, he doesn't want to talk about the terrible game anymore. Good, nice job. All right, how about uh, numbers 9 and 10? This is for Juan Pablo. Maylin and I are best friends. Margarita sent us an email about the test. Good, yes, Maylin and I and sent us. All right, fabulous. Okay, class, any questions? Uh, any questions up to this point? No. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's do some error correction. Yes. 
<laughs> All right, so um, we'll do uh, one uh, one each. Let's start off with uh, Samir. Uh, question number one, please. Okay, me and Dina work together. I think uh, Dina and I work together. Yeah, and that would be Diana. Diana and I work together. Yes. Ricky okay. and me. This is Diana. All right, so let's uh, let's go to uh, number two, Abdi. Uh, Ricky and I are both taking psychology. Psychology. Yeah, that would be psychology. So Ricky and I. Okay, excellent. All right, uh, I chew. Yes. Uh, number three, please. Paula and I live in Youngstown, Ohio. Good. Yes. So switching, uh, switching that around. So Paula and I. Okay. Um, how about uh, number four? This is for Anastasia. Um, Maria. Um, she's a dancer. Maria. Um, she's a dancer. Yeah. 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 If you if you have already uh, uh, spoken about uh, Maria, you can definitely say she. Okay, she's uh, a dancer. Yeah, mm -hmm. she is a dancer. Okay, if you have not spoken about her yet, uh, then you you would need to say Maria is a dancer. Okay. Uh, Maria is a dancer. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's go to uh, Andres uh, number five, please. Okay. Is is he or she the manager of this sir? I. Okay. So yes. Um, Instead of uh, saying "is he or she," oh. okay, uh, you could just switch this word to "are." Yeah, to suppose. Okay, are yeah, you, you can say. I, you can I, say, I, it, um, but uh, if you have "he or she," yeah, I, I mean that would work as well. Is he or she the manager of the store? Okay, yeah. or uh, are are you the manager of the store? Are we working pronoun? So I change the pronoun. Sure. Sure, no problem. Okay. Um, how about uh, number six? Number six is for uh, Edinson. Victor and he are all friends. Okay, and uh, when we when we are uh, uh, the subject of the sentence, we would need to we would need to use the word I. Okay, so Victor and I are old friends. Okay. Please repeat that. Victor and I are old friends. Victor and I are old friends. Okay, fabulous. Thank you. All right, how about uh, uh, Emma? Uh, number seven, please. She's a girl. Okay, uh, yes, you can say she's a girl. All right, um, now um, you can also say it's. So, for example, if, uh, if you, uh, you don't know what you're going to have yet, all right, and uh, the baby is born. You come running out and you say, "Yes, it's a girl." Okay. Okay. The only uh, the only thing is, um, you would have to say "it's" with an apostrophe. It is. Okay. Yes. So so the word "it's" there. Okay. We need an apostrophe, saying "it's a girl." It okay. apostrophe s. Okay. Yeah. All right. How about uh, number eight? Um, Juan Pablo. Number eight, please. They bought from China. Okay. Um, so yes, you're halfway there. So if we have they, okay, we need one extra word in between they and both. What word would we need in between they and both? What do you think, Juan Pablo? Our Good. Yes. So they are both from China. They are both from China. Excellent. Okay. How about uh, Samir? Number nine, please. Sid and, and I have been going out for about two months. Good. Sid and I have been going out for about two months. Fabulous. Okay. How about uh, number 10? This is for Abdil.
Okay, uh, how about I Chu, number 10, please? Yes. Uh, Joanna and I don't know how to cook. Okay, so uh, Joanna and I don't know how to cook. All right. Um, you could also say uh, we as well. Okay. Like uh, if you were if you were having a party or whatnot and uh, your friends were coming over, you could say, uh, I hope you brought the food because we don't know how to cook. All right. Okay. Or Joanna and I don't know how to cook. Either, either way works. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Very good. Let's go to uh, – no problem. Oksana? No. Exercise six. Between you and okay, Oksana, let's uh, scroll down here. Anastasia. Yeah. No, today I am Oksana. Okay. Yes, Between... today she's Oksana. <laughs> Be Between you and I, I think that John is a bad speaker. Between uh, me and you and me. Okay, yeah, me is correct, but it would be, it would replace I. So between you and me. Uh, between you and me, uh, I think that John is a bad speaker. Good, yes, because uh, between here, this is a uh, a preposition. All right, and this is the uh, object of the preposition here. Okay, or the subject of it. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, number two. And number two is for uh, Andres. Yeah. Can I say we have been going out for six months? Uh, oh. Yes, definitely. If uh, if uh, you have already, if you've already uh, uh, spoken about the uh, the other person, okay, you can def definitely say we. Okay. If not, uh, you would need to say the other person's name. Okay, so if uh, if you're talking about Rick in a conversation and then you bring it up, you could say, yes, uh, we have been going out for six months. Okay, if you have not spoken his name yet, all right, him or her name, okay, then, uh, um, then uh, you would need to say the person's name. Because remember, pronouns, pronouns replace nouns once they have already been mentioned. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go to uh, number three. And uh, number three is for Edinson. Oscar have two cars. One of that is a four. Okay, Oscar has two, two cars. All right, uh, now, uh, what would we replace that with? We need to replace that. Uh, okay, Oscar has two cars. One of theirs is a four. Okay. One of them. All right. Here we can actually say which. One of which. Ah, okay. Yeah, this. Oscar has two cards. One of which is a four. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, how about uh, number uh, number four? No, uh, I have a question. You can sure use it. Uh, no, you cannot use it. Uh, on number three. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, how about uh, um, how about number four, please, uh, Emma? The woman about her, I was working cones from China. Okay, say that one more time. The woman about uh, her I was talking comes from China. H how could we fix that? The woman about she, uh, Okay. So here yeah. here uh, they actually uh, they actually want you to use whom, but we would not use whom. Whom is a is an older word that we would not use. Okay, um, so in all reality, we would we would say this: the woman uh, who I who I was talking about. Okay. The woman who I was talking about comes from China. Let me have you repeat okay. that, please.
Okay, can I have you repeat that, please? Yeah. The woman who I was talking come I was talking about comes from China. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Juan Pablo, number five, please. Um, that article uh, was discussing about genetics. Okay, so uh, the article on that I was discussing was about genetics. Now remember, we use the word which, okay, when we're talking about things and that when we're talking about people uh, or things. But uh, mainly when we talk about things, now an article would be a thing. Okay, so here we could say the article which, okay, instead of on that, we could say which I was discussing was about genetics. Okay, okay. Uh, the article which I was discussing was about genetics. Good. The article which I was discussing is a, was about genetics, okay? How about uh, number six? Uh, number six is for Samir. Uh, Mario and I going to the movies later. Good. Mario and I are going to the movies later, okay? Uh, Abdil, number seven, please. I met three people. One one of them is a nurse at the body hospital. Okay. Um, now, you can say one of them, and in all reality, that's what we would normally say. Uh, but um, one of which. One of which. Okay, okay one of which would uh, would probably be the, uh, the uh, most uh, grammatically correct here. Okay. okay. Uh, one of them. Uh, uh, one of which. Okay, one of them, either either are, either or, okay? Um, let's go to uh, number eight. Uh, and they, they want you to use whom, but again, I don't like the word whom. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very old word, okay? It's like uh, if, uh, Abdil, uh, you're from uh, Mexico, right, from what I remember? Yeah. Yeah, it's like if you were to speak in, uh, in uh, vosotros, they're, they're in your country. I know in Spain they talk in vosotros, but... Uh, but in Mexico, you, you you wouldn't use that, right? It, it it would be an older form of speaking. So, okay, let's uh, let's go to uh, number eight, please. I do. They got divorced. This is a real shame. Okay. Um. Uh. They got divorced. Okay. Uh. That is a real shame. You can say that. Uh. This as well. Um. But. This isn't a, uh, uh, we would understand you, okay? You can say, man, this is a real shame. They got divorced, okay? Um, uh, that is a real shame. Uh, that also works as well, okay? Uh, because you're talking about people here, okay? okay? They got divorced. That's, that's a real shame, okay? okay? That is, um, um, here as well, they, they say to use a witch, which is a real shame. But uh, I, I disagree with that. I disagree with the uh, um, why they would say that. So this this is actually uh, uh, correct here. Okay, they got divorced. That is a real shame. Okay. I say that um, because I talk about because, yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. Um, number number nine. Okay, number nine is for uh, let's see, Oksana. <clears throat> Ronnie Tratel lives in Delphi that has a population of 17 million 17 millions it's not correct okay um, he lives in Delhi um, yes. that has a population this, maybe this has a population or there has a population um, we, we wouldn't use uh, um, uh, there Okay, or this. It would be which. Uh, which hmm, which okay. has a population. Yeah, because uh, we're talking about Delhi, which is a which is a thing, it's a place. It wouldn't be a person. Okay? Um, so we would say which has a population of seventeen million. Okay? And uh, how about uh, number ten? 
Number 10 here, this will be for Andres. Yeah. Mm. The man mm, who I was speaking about come from Mongolia. Yeah, the man who I was speaking about comes from Mongolia. Yeah. Okay, good. This is, a, this is another example when they want you to use whom. But again, like I said, we don't use whom. All right. So yes, the man who I was speaking about comes from Mongolia. All right, fabulous job. Okay, uh, thank you guys for uh, for uh, coming to class. Okay, um, there are a few or a couple other exercises that you can go through. Uh, the answers are are down there at the at the bottom. Um, now uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going over the uh, the second parts. Okay, of uh, of uh, the uh, pronouns. Okay, so it's pronouns two, and uh, because there's uh, there's seven seven uh, sections here. Okay, we went over the first three: subject pronouns, object pronouns, and reflective. Tomorrow we'll go over the the other four. Okay, and uh, go through practices as well. Okay, all right. Thank you guys for coming. We'll see ya. Bye. Thank you for lesson. Bye bye.